It's late November in Trondheim, Norway. The night has this frosty edge, making the dark sea look eerie. We're here on the jetty, our gears are checked and we are ready to dive into a world as beautiful as it is mysterious. I've done night dives before, but this feels different. There's an intense focus, a mental zone, it's hard to explain. You're aware of every little sound, the way the cold air bites your skin, the anticipation of the unknown. We're just about to plunge into the Trondheim Fjord. It's not just the cold or the dark that makes your heart race. It's knowing what might be lurking just beyond the reach of your light. As we slip into the water, everything else fades away. It's just us and the deep. The light doesn't reach far, but it's enough. I feel every bit of that cold, dark water around me. Down here, your world shrinks to your lamp's small circle of light. You know that out there, in the darkness, are creatures like the Greenland shark, orcas even, passing by unseen. It's a feeling that's hard to put into words. It's not fear. Not exactly joy, but something deeper. Every sense is heightened, every moment feels significant. You feel this adrenaline rush, not knowing what's around the corner. Here, in the heart of the ocean's darkness, you feel a bond. Not just with your dive body, but with the sea itself. It's a connection that goes beyond words, beyond the everyday. Deeper into the dark we swim, our senses on high alert. We're here for the ghost sharks, but the ocean has more stories to tell. Out here, every shadow could be our target. But then, Patrick alerts to something else. ghost net. A silent, deadly trap sprawled on the ocean floor. Seeing a ghost net here takes me back to 2010 when I made my first full-length documentary Ghosts in the Baltic Sea about these very nets. Lost or abandoned fishing gear that continues to catch and kill tons and tons of fish, birds, seals and the highly threatened Baltic porpoise. The film did more than just tell a story, it ignited a movement. The 
terms Spökon, ghost net in Swedish, not only enter the dictionary but also our collective consciousness. Bringing ghost nets to the public opened eyes and sparked real change. Our efforts in raising awareness have led to tangible shifts. Now there are recycling stations where ghost nets, old fishing gear and other marine plastic waste are given a new life instead of being discarded. These stations stand as beacons of progress, a direct result of shining a light on the ghost net issue. They are powerful reminders that awareness and action can transform a problem into an opportunity for positive change, turning detrimental waste into resources for a sustainable future. Here, under the waters of Trondheim, it's a stark reminder. Our oceans are interconnected and our actions have far-reaching impacts. These nets don't just haunt one part of the sea, they are a global problem. We move on, leaving the ghost net behind, but not without action. We made sure to report its location so it can be removed. Our mission remains to find and film the ghost sharks, but this encounter adds another layer to our journey. It's a reminder of why we do this, to explore, yes, but also to witness, document and share. Every dive is an opportunity, not just to discover, but to bring to light the unseen stories of our oceans. The beauty and the challenges, the mystery and the urgency. We dive not just for adventure, but for awareness. As we push deeper, the promise of encountering a ghost shark still lies ahead. The ocean around us is a vast expanse of mystery, a world that holds its secret close. We move through the water, our lights slicing through the darkness, searching. After hours, days and months of planning, waiting and hoping, Patrick finally sees a ghost shark in the beam, a specter in the deep. It's a surreal moment and the culmination of our journey. Ghost shark moves with a mystic grace, a silent ballet in the ocean's darkness. Its presence is beautiful, almost otherworldly, a being of the deep, a rare glimpse into the world so few have seen. Imagine a creature that's been gliding through the oceans for about 350 million years. Even with such an ancient lineage, new species of ghost shark have been discovered as recently as 2002. During the night, they swim to shallow waters to hunt small fish, crustaceans and mollusks. Their excellent vision, smell and electroreception make them proficient hunters in low light conditions. Equipped with a unique defense mechanism, the ghost shark's dorsal fin harbors a venomous spine. A marvel of evolution, this feature sets them apart, a subtle yet effective tool for survival. As the ghost shark vanishes into the deep, it leaves us with a sense of profound respect and awe. This encounter, brief as it was, is a treasure. 
a moment we'll carry with us always. This journey was more than just a search, it was a voyage into the heart of the ocean. And as we return, we bring back stories, experiences and a deeper understanding of this magnificent, mysterious world. Thank you everyone for diving into this adventure with us. It's been an epic journey and having you along makes it all better. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please like, comment, engage and share. Every interaction helps us grow our Fragile Hope community. Together, we can make waves. Stay tuned for more Ocean Stories next week. Keep exploring, keep dreaming. Bye!